One of the things the Duisenberg School of Finance wants to do is to be visible, visible as a link between academia and business, the financial industry, and one way of doing that is to organize public lectures like this one. And I think it's, um, we have a great occasion to do this today because there probably there's no time as good as this time to have lectures on what finance and financial systems are about. Two things that we will always do when something goes wrong. The first question is, who can we blame for this? And there's a wide group of people that we think we can blame for this. It's the greedy traders, it's the whiskits who have come up with way too complicated things, the executives who run after their bonuses, their short-term profits, etc. Second reaction typically is we need to change the system. Apparently the system is flawed because otherwise this would not have happened. Both of these reactions are wonderful ways to not have to look into ourselves. We make these mistakes continuously. That's what people do. We learn very little of past failures. Even though we change the systems, we make up new rules and nonetheless give us another 20 years and we come up with very similar mistakes in new settings. What is needed therefore, I think, is to have a fundamental look into ourselves. We are very honored to have with us here today Michael Jensen from the Harvard Business School, world-renowned economist. You will involve Steve Saffron, from the CEO from the Vento Group, today in your speech. You've worked both together over a longer period of time, talking together and engaging with an audience in themes like leadership and integrity. So, for, for the moment, let's not talk about the business life, let's talk about home life. How many of you have experienced the result of your spouse being disappointed because you haven't fulfilled an expectation? Are you asking what? people to raise their hand or just to think yeah, about it? Yeah, how many? <laughs> Great. So, and what happens when you don't fulfill those expectations? In the domain of workability, what happens? Workability goes down. Disappointment, conflict. So if I take it upon myself to find out what the expectations are, those unannounced or unexpressed expectations, then I can say to Richard or Johan, I got to, are you expecting something from me in this dimension? And he says yes, and then he explains it, and then I can say, well, you know what? I'm never gonna do that. Then it's not my word. Now that's probably gonna stimulate a somewhat awkward conversation, but I guarantee you it will not be as awkward as if I disappoint him or her, and then we have another conversation about it. So that's what I mean, that's what we mean by when you take yourself as cause and the matter of expectations of you. So we established a rule. We did it wrong to start with. We said, you know, you gotta answer email, and you gotta answer telephone calls. Just make sure when you're gonna do something like that, if you're not gonna be in the meeting, pick up your computer and leave the room. Then we'll know you're not in the meeting. Well. That was too costly. We, we lied and we cheated and we hid. And so then we changed the rules. So we changed the rule in the following way. We said, no, oh, that's too costly. It's not working. Um, so here's the deal. You're perfectly welcome to be out of the meeting at any time you want. Just take your computer off, your, off the table, put it in your lap, and turn your chair looking at the wall then do whatever you have to do. And then we'll know you're out of the meeting. And if we're discussing something that we need your input on or that you need to hear, we will tap you on the shoulder and say, George or Mary or Mike, it's time for you to come back in the meeting or when are you come back? And if you're not coming back right away, we're gonna postpone what we're talking about. A gigantic improvement in performance. So integrity doesn't create performance, but it, lack of integrity will destroy performance. We're saying that, right? Then we're saying there's this paradox. So in organizations, there will be a lack of integrity, but there's no recognition that there's lack of performance is being caused by this lack of integrity, the lack of performance. Why? If there's something that's invisible in your life, undistinguished is the term we use for it in your life, it's impossible for you to manage it. If it's literally invisible, you 
cannot manage it. And what's on the other side of that? It's running you. Undiscussables in the boardroom. No system can be in integrity, especially a governance system, if there are things that cannot be discussed. And by the way, those of you who are on boards in this room know that it is undiscussable that there are things that are un undiscussable. And I know you think it applies to everybody but you in this room, but it doesn't. Put simply, people consistently act inconsistently, unaware of the contradiction between their espoused theory and their theory in use, between the way they think they are acting and the way they really act. And by the way, the smarter people are, the more they do that, not the less. 